What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today we're over here in Dragon Soul, and if you guys can see, I'm level 100, and that's because a lot of you guys have been asking me how how to make gold in Wards of Draenor. Well, this is going to be a pretty good way, especially right at the start, okay? And so we're, what I'm doing here is I'm going to aggro literally every fucking mob up to Morchok, and then I'm going to circle around to the entrance, I'm going to AoE all of it down. Now, the way the scaling changes work, uh, you're going to be hitting these fucking things for like a million damage, right? And I'm doing this on 25, man, too. So, I mean, even if you're just absolutely fucking terrible, you're going to be able to go and do this pretty much no problem, I think. As long as you have, I'd say, uh, average quality blue gear at level 100. This character is 660 pre-made, and uh, the heroic gear is 630. And so, if you have about, I'd say like 610, something like that, you're probably going to be good to go, honestly. Now, I was actually trying to do this uh, this exact method. I had this this method in my head, and I wanted to do this uh, before before Wizard Dinner came out, but I couldn't go big enough dick. And so uh, the level 100 boost kind of gave me that extra, extra uh, you know, like whatever you want to call it, and um, I'm able to do that now. And so what this is going to give you, uh, let's talk about the obvious shit. Um, you're going to get about... 100 gold, like straight up money in the bank, all right? You don't have to sell anything. You click a button and you make 100 gold every fucking run. And you guys see this, uh, this, what is this? This is a video. Uh, this video is about six, six minutes and about 20 seconds long. So I do two runs. So in six minutes, I make 200 gold. As I said, that's gold, not something that I can sell, not anything else like that. And so I'm going to explain this real quick. And so I aggro everything, and then I pull them down. I put down a Ravager, right, because Ravager is fucking amazing. And so it's just pretty much doing all the work for me. I'm just running around in circles. Ravager is killing everything for me. It's fucking clearing Dragon Soul, and I'm not even doing anything. And then whenever Ravager is done, I Blade Storm. It's amazing. And so look how much damage I'm doing. Like, that's fucking awesome, too. And so you guys are about to see the money I want to make. Now, patterns are going to sell pretty well. Guys, y'all need to know this, okay? They're going to sell really well for probably the first, like, month of Wars of Draenor. Probably less than that, honestly. Because there are a lot of people that watch these fucking videos now. Like, I have, like, 12,000 subscribers. So the odds of somebody doing this on your server is pretty fucking high. And so you want to be able to do this as fast as possible. And also you're going to be getting all these other items. And so you get that sword. And so you're probably going to average, I'd say, uh, 200 gold per run just from vendoring. Okay, so I mean, I'm not even talking about selling patterns. I'm not even talking about anything like that. I'm talking about bot looting everything. You open up your, uh, your, your yak, your tundra mammoth, and you fucking sell it. And you've got 2,000 gold. All right, and if you do it 10 times an hour, obviously. And so that's not even going to take an hour because if you're doing runs once every three minutes, once every five minutes, let's say, so you're going to be done with that in, in 50 minutes with 10 minutes to go to go jack off and then get ready to do it again, get another 2,000 gold. So to me, this is kind of like a win, 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 like times infinity situation. And so uh, I would assume that these patterns, because this is not really that hard to do, guys. Like, it's really not that fucking hard to do. And so... These patterns are going to be worth about the vendor price of of uh, of what they the vendor for them. Yeah, obviously. And so you want to be in on this. Uh, you want to be in on this on the ground floor. It's like if you guys have ever gone to like a pyramid scheme uh, seminar. You know how they always say uh, get on get in on this on the ground floor. Well, guess what? This pyramid is called Dragon Soul, and you want to be on the top because you're going to be making a whole lot of fucking money. And uh, another thing here, uh, there are some questions I have in my head that I don't really have the answers to right now. And one of the questions is, will this be a viable method of power leveling? That's a question I don't have the answer to. And another question that I will preemptively answer for you guys right now is, it, is this viable to do in Firelands? Now, the problem with that is that uh, the packs of large, uh, uh, like the Shazra, the Molten Core guys, you know, like the, the Snake guys, uh, one of them does a disorient, and also the Core Hounds eat you, and the eating you uh, dismounts you. And so, uh, even though you will be, it will be very rarely dismounted by days, uh, you will be dismounted by core hounds. Now, you can obviously uh, tiptoe around the core hounds, but it's probably going to be a pain in the ass anyway. I tried to do it. I might add another clip once I figure out a better method, but right now I don't really want to show you guys something that I don't really think is uh, super viable. And another reason why I like doing this, guys, is I fucking love AoE farming. And so, like, I have how many of these gangs? How many, how many of these guys? 
fucking 10, like 50, probably closer to 50. I have 50 of these things, I'm going to kill all of them in like 10 seconds. Like to me, this is like, this is a dream come true, right? And so I'm really happy. By the way, those those guys that are uh, chasing me to the left there, they don't drop loot. So they're going to just infinitely respawn from the portals. And so what you want to do here is you just don't, as soon as all of the mobs die that actually drop loot, guess what you do? You leave the instance, you reset and that's pretty much all this takes. As I said before, you're going to be making 2,000 gold an hour for fucking sure. And I honestly am not even going to be surprised if they nerf this. But I know that this is very viable right now. Now, another question people might have, is the gold income different from 10 and 20? 10 and 25 minutes. Sorry, I've had a the throat has been uh, bothering me today. Uh, is this any different from 10 and 25 man? That is a question I cannot answer. But I think it will be a little bit different since uh, usually the gold uh, income is divided among the characters or the players that would uh, be receiving it in the raid normally. And so 25 men would be divided among 25 players. And so anyway, guys, uh, I thought this was a really cool, fun thing to do. Uh, as soon as Wards of Drainer comes out, you guys might want to test this out and get this uh, get, get on on this before it probably gets nerfed or before the prices bottom out. So anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm like, comment, subscribe.